I'm not gonna lie, I think we should make an indie beat. I have this amazing guitar chord progression that I wanna try out. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds offbeat, likely at certain points, but that's exactly what we want. But then I have a, I have a particular idea, right? I wanna mute the sound of the guitar and play it a second time. We could try that, let's, let's give that a recording. Alright, I think right now what we need is a bass line. I'll use MIDI to play out the bass notes, but I think I should use the guitar one more time. Okay, that might work. I think the last note was kind of messed up, but I can just delete it off. Bro, this guitar progression sounds so raw and authentic. One of my approaches is I, I start mixing as I'm recording, like not extensively, but to a certain point. So I don't have to worry about certain frequency clashes later on, which I've found to be very helpful. So I'm going to give this a bit of a low pass. I'll see how that goes later and then put this to the third one and then add an EQ there as well and then the, um, the low frequencies to be honest I don't know what I'm doing I just do what I think sounds good in the first two guitar lines I feel like there's way too many noise so I think we need to use like a guitar denoise and see what we can do okay guys so this is what the guitar sounds like The only problem is I feel like there should be like bass notes over here at the end to kind of fill that space up but at the same time it's more like tension and release right? To be honest right I don't think there's anything more to life than this. Recording the perfect guitar take I think is one of the biggest dopamine inducing things I've ever experienced. Okay let's get back to business right? I think we need to disable the EQ and then consolidate these uh, guitar tracks right? Just to make sure that the denoise is it like kind of printed into the sound um, and we don't have any problems in the near future perfect all right let's delete everything um delete this part as well put it back to the right guitar track i think that was the second track or the third one i think it was the third one yeah and then disable the noise because i don't think we need it anymore and then enable the eq and then print it to the other side with a smooth perfect bring it over here all right so we have our guitar Dude, the problem is we can hear the crickets in the background, bro. If you guys don't know, my windows are all open. It's like 10 p.m. It's fine. I think I think it adds to the vibe of the song. Dude, this is such a good... Holy, bro. I, I don't even know what I'm writing about. This is so nice. Um, This this feels very somber and, and nostalgic. So I think we need something nostalgic on it. But I think we need like a pad or something. So let me pull up Omnisphere. But for now, let's get like a pad. But I want it to sound like a ghost. Air sounds really nice. Or off the glow, that sounds aerodynamic. Wow, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Hold on, um, this one. Oh, that sounds so nice. I think that's it. And then I think we should make like a fifth harmonic or something. Like, like add harmonics to this, like this. And then delete the rest. Because I don't think we need the same chords playing over and over again. I just want like a hum harmonious, harmonious sound. That sounds way too thick for me. I wonder if what would happen if I played like a pitch above. No. Way too thick, way too thick, way too thick. I think the notes are just right. It's just that I need to change up the sound. That might work. Uh, uh. Okay, that's such a nice harmony sound. I want this to be like uh, uh. Bro, this is this is so good. This is so good. I think it's worth exploring drums. Uh, let's get the Cellosaurus. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, they're so creative with their names. Hold on. Oh, that sounds so good. Dude, this sounds stereo. I don't want it to sound stereo. I want it to sound like exactly in the bottom, like in the middle. Um, no, hold on. I want the dud. Like I want people, I want people to kind of feel that there's a kick, but also at the same time not have it highlighted across the beat. I want there to be more energy without it being way too obvious. Dude, 
this is so perfect. Bro, what am I... What am I doing? Give me a flute. Wow! This needs to go lower, bro. This needs to go lower, bro. Okay, see, this sounds way too apparent because I, I want it to be like on the top of my headphones. So I'm gonna mix it a bit and I'm gonna remove all the like maybe till the like top top mid frequencies. I feel like if I remove it, then it'll be it'll sound like very nice. Maybe like somewhere here. Now to the moment that you all probably been waiting for. They say I'm going again. Feel it wrong. Ooh. Actually, you know what? I'm never satisfied with my vocal take, so you know I'm just gonna fuck it. Put on my words, they say I'm not. Feel like I'm holding on and not talk about it. Baby, can you so the trick is you you gotta kind of mumble some melodies and then put lyrics into it. Okay, I've been writing the entire day and I think I don't even wanna post this video because I wanna drop this song. It's that good. This song is about being a hopeless romantic sort of and a kind of me manifesting a good connection to my life and i think music has a lot of power to influence yourself and influence other people so i'm trying to shift my music into a bit of a positive direction but this is just like a blend between nostalgic sad which is what i'm comfortable with but at the same time just in a more positive affirmation listen to this so nice me out the blue and you say i'm missing you I'm missing and i swear there's nothing to see here cause my lips were meant to bruise and my hands were made to fight and i point them at the moon cause i'll happily surrender if it's for you i'm meant to lose and there's so much amusement here and there's nothing but love 